A study published today suggests vitamin D may help people who suffer from multiple sclerosis. Scientists say patients with higher levels of vitamin D had fewer symptoms and slower progression of MS than patients with lower levels, especially in the early stages of the disease. Over the years, this broadcast has been to a lot of places, but never to where Dr. John LaPook is taking us tonight. We're going inside the trial and approval process for an experimental treatment for MS. 11 years ago, Megan Quinn had just gotten married and was the picture of health. I used to run five miles a day. All of a sudden on my third mile, I started dragging my foot. I didn't understand. I thought, okay, I'm just getting old and I'm getting tired. I was 27 years old. But nothing ever clicked me that something was wrong. The diagnosis was multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is an autoimmune disease where the body attacks itself and damages myelin, the protective covering surrounding nerve cells. With that insulation compromised, the nerves deteriorate and can cause a wide range of symptoms, including visual problems, fatigue, and weakness. For the past year, I've had it a really bad time with this disease. In what way? Just with my hip not working, with um, one night I woke up and I couldn't feel either of my legs. Right now, my biggest problem is my hamstring. I cannot get my hamstring to cooperate when I have to walk. Now it shakes. See how tense my muscle is? Right, no, I see that. Current treatments only try to stop progression of the disease. Megan is about to test a new approach, using stem cells designed to actually make MS patients better. So I'm going to put this on your chest. Stem cells can be morphed into any cell in the body. Patients like Megan have bone marrow removed, and the stem cells inside are then changed into the kind of stem cells found in the brain and spinal cord. Those cells will then be injected directly into the spinal cord. The hope is they will repair the insulation and perhaps even the wires underneath. Dr. Saud Sadiq of Tisch MS Research Center of New York is leading the research. This is the very first time in history that somebody is doing exactly what you're doing. Does it frighten you at all? It's something that we have to do. I think we have to take these steps because everything else we have done hasn't worked. Later this month, Megan is scheduled to become the first of 20 MS patients to be treated this way. You want me to hold you? The primary goal is to find out if the procedure is safe, but Megan is hoping for much more. I just want to be able to not be looked at all the time as, you know, with, with oh, she has MS, or I don't want puppy dog eyes. I want to just be able to be the best mom, play with my children, and I'm going to beat it. I'm not going to let it beat me. We'll be following Megan Quinn and the other patients in this trial as they progress through three possible phases. Phase one is a test for safety. Two and three look for effectiveness in increasing numbers of patients. If all goes right, it would still be years before FDA approval. We still wish them the best. Dr. LaPook, thank you.